The Indian Space Research Organizations ISRO, Moon Lander Vikram and Robotic Rover Pragyan have now been told to go to sleep. ISRO hopes to awaken them at lunar dawn on the 22nd of September. But in their two-week sojourn around the Moon's South Pole, they provided insights that have planetary scientists abuzz. Here are some of the first remarkable findings. 1. Temperature variations with depth measurements so far have found that the temperature at the surface is significantly warmer than recorded by NASA's 2009 Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, adds Hain. The temperatures are far too warm for water ice to be stable, says Hain, explaining that water converts from solid to gas at a very low temperature in the vacuum of space, at about minus 160C. Chandrayaan 3's data indicate temperatures warmer than minus 10C at all depths sampled. Further down, we expect temperatures to flatten out at close to the average surface temperature of about minus 80 C, says Hain. 2. A thin soup of ions and electrons swirls near the lunar pole. A probe onboard Vikram made the first measurements of the density and temperature of Moon's ionosphere. Israel reports a, relatively sparse, mix of ions and electrons in the 100-kilometer thick layer of electrically charged plasma that surrounds the Moon's surface near the South Pole. Initial measurements of the plasma indicate a density of about 5 million to 30 million electrons per cubic meter. And the density seems to vary as the lunar day progresses, an ISRO scientist analyzing the Chandrayaan-3 mission's data told Nature. The peak density of a similar layer in Earth's upper atmosphere is 1 million electrons per cubic centimeter. The density of the ionosphere would affect lunar communication and navigation systems if humans were to inhabit the Moon, the higher the electron density, the longer radio signals take to travel through the ionosphere. The sparse plasma means that potential delays would be minimal, the scientist says, and would not pose a problem for transmission. 3. A suspected moonquake. Among many vibrations recorded by the lander's seismograph, one in particular caught the attention of scientists. The instrument seems to have recorded a very small seismic event that decayed to background in about four seconds says planetary geochemist Mark Norman at the Australian National University in Canberra. ISRO scientists suspect it was a small moonquake or the impact of a tiny meteorite. 4. Sulfur confirmed. Testing by the rover unambiguously confirms the presence of sulfur in the lunar surface near the South Pole, Israel reports. It also found aluminium, silicon, calcium and iron, among other elements. Sulfur, being volatile, is not generally expected, explains Bardwaj. Confirmation of its presence is really important, say scientists. Sulfur is a key element of molten rock, and researchers think that the primitive moon was covered with a thick layer of hot molten rock, which crystallized to form the moon's surface. Measurements of sulfur concentrations can provide insight into that process, says the ISRO scientist. However, it's also possible that the sulfur came from asteroids that bombard the moon's surface. The ISRO scientist says they hope to add their findings to those of the U.S. Apollo missions to better understand the moon's geochemistry.